Thank you, uh, Joel. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to all the PCOs. Thank you to the party. Thanks for having me. This is absolutely amazing uh, to see all of you here and to see everyone engaged. I believe that this primary that we just had, our turnout exceeded the presidential race of 2020, which is pretty amazing. That shows you how engaged and how much energy there is throughout the district and throughout the country. This was a very hard fought primary. And I think that's an absolutely good thing. That's going to serve us very well going forward because steel sharpens steel. You train like you fight. The more that you sweat in training, the less you bleed on the battlefield. I feel very, very prepared to go forward and to fight everything that the far left and the administrative state are going to continue to throw at not just me, but all of you. And I'll be honored to stand in the breach and fight with you for our country. Now, my opponents, the folks that ran against me, I am very honored that they have conceded and they're starting to rally around uh, this effort because this isn't just about me. This isn't just about Joe Kent versus any of the other candidates. This is about us, conservatives, Republicans, taking back our country. And so for those of you... <laughs> So I want to say a very special thanks to Heidi St. John and to all of her supporters. We fought, we fought hard. Passions ran high because both of us and both of our sides, our supporters, care deeply about this district and about this country. And we put ourselves through the ringer and we had a strong turnout on election day. Same thing with Vicki Kraft. Vicki Kraft jumped in and made both Heidi and I fight very, very hard for this and made us stronger candidates and got more people involved in the process. And same thing, Leslie French got in, he brought in some folks too, and that was just one more angle of attack that we had to prepare for. Jamie Herrera Butler, well, Jamie brought a lot of money and a lot of resources to the fight as well. And she fought and she fought very hard. And so right now we have seen the full scope of what can get thrown at us and the unity that Republicans can have. I'm not very good at doing math, so I won't try and do it publicly. But if you look at the Republican turnout on that ticket, it will be an absolutely loud and clear message to Washington, D.C. and throughout this country that Washington 3 is one of the most conservative districts in the country. And that's all gonna be possible because we're going to unite and we have to unite. If you look at how high the stakes are, this isn't politics as usual. The other side, the far left, the globalists, the administrative state, they work in lockstep. They are very unified. They have an agenda. They're not playing politics as usual anymore. They're not trying to win over any hearts and minds. They're not trying to have the best argument. They are trying to radically change our country by seizing every single lever of power they have. And once they have control of that lever of power, they wield it against us. Whether it was the raid that happened last night at President Trump's private residence as, as a private citizen, exactly. Or whether it was the FBI counterterrorism task force going after parents at Shilbert school board meetings. The national security state has been weaponized against us at the behest of the progressive left and the globalists. However, we are what's going to push back against all of them because we're going to get unified and we're going to tell them that this ends, we are taking back our republic and starting in 2024. So just like when I started, I wanna earn every single one of your votes. I wanna earn independent votes. We have a great opportunity to bring over people that once thought they were Democrats, that thought they were independents into our camp because it's clear right now, there's two sides. One side wants complete and total control and we'll do anything to get it. And then there's us. And I wanna discuss any kind of policy differences rigorously with all of you. So reach out to my campaign, reach out to me. I am more than happy to sit down and discuss any policy issues that any of you had. It was a hard fought primary. And that's a good thing. Clark County especially, this is gladiator camp right here. You guys don't play around. We just saw that in the beginning, right? We don't mess around. So you guys are, are the warm up to get me ready to go and fight. And I need every single one of you in my camp. I'd be honored to have your support. I think it's also critical that we rally behind a lot of the other candidates, whether it's Brett Simpson running for county auditor, whether it's Jeremy Baker, Michelle Belcott. Stephanie McClintock, and we have a lot of really solid Republicans here that we need to rally behind and send a strong message to Olympia and send a strong message to Washington, D.C. I am absolutely honored to have this nomination. I'm absolutely honored to go forth and to fight for all of you. Thank you very much. Let's make America great again. Yeah.